Excel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2019, Question 9. A research engineer is testing the effectiveness of the braking system of a car when it is driven in wet conditions. The engineer measures and records the braking distance, d meters, when the brakes are applied from a speed of v kilometers per hour. Graphs of d against v and log base 10d against log base 10v were plotted. The results are shown below together with a data point from each graph. For part A, we need to explain how figure six would lead the engineer to believe that the braking distance should be modeled by the formula d equals k v to the n, where k and n are constants, with k roughly equal to 0.017. So looking at figure six, we've got a straight line graph. Remembering straight line graphs can be written in the form y equals mx plus c, where m and c are constant. But also remembering that our axes aren't x and y, they're log base 10v and log base 10d. We know that we should be aiming for something of the form log base 10d equals m log base 10v plus c, where m and c are constant. So going back to the formula we've been given, d equals k v to the n, let's try and get this into that format. So if we take logs of both sides, we get log d equals log of k v to the n. Inside that right hand side, we've got k times by v to the n. So by the rules of logarithms, we can split that up into log k plus log v to the n. And also by those rules, we've got a power inside the log. We can bring that out as a multiple. So log k plus n log v. So now looking at what we've got, we've got log d on the left, we've got n, a constant, times by log v on the right, plus log 10k. If k is a constant, then log of k must also be a constant, so this is of the form required. Now we can see from the graph that the line goes through the point 0, negative 1.77. So setting our log d to negative 1.77 and log v to 0, we get that negative 1.77 equals log to the base 10k. So k must equal 10 to the power of negative 1.77 equals 0.017 as required. For part B, we need to use the information given in figure 5 with k equal 0.017 to find a complete equation for the model, giving the value of n to three significant figures. So we know that we've got this equation from before. So log d equals log k plus n log v. We can see in figure five that when v is 30, d is 20, and we've been told that k is 0.017. So if we substitute those in, we get log 20 equals log 0.017 plus n log 30. Subtracting log 0.017 from each side, gives us n log 30 equals log 20 minus log 0.017. And then we can divide both sides through by log 30, put all this into our calculator, gives us that n equals 2.08. Now, before we had the formula d equals k v to the n, we know that k is 0.017. We've just worked out that n is 2.08. So we can say that d equals 0.017 times v to the power of 2.08. For part C, Sean is driving this car at 60 km per hour in wet conditions when he notices a large puddle in the road 100 meters ahead. It takes him 0.8 seconds to react before applying the brakes. Use the formula to find out if Sean will be able to stop before reaching the puddle. So we've got Two distances here, we've got a distance before braking and a distance after braking. So distance before braking, Sean was traveling at 60 kilometers per hour for that whole time. He did that for 0.8 seconds. So if we convert that into hours, that was 3,600 seconds in an hour. So he's done 0.8 over 3,600 of an hour times by 60 for the speed means during that time he will have traveled 0.01 three recurring kilometers. We want this in meters so we can compare it to the 100 meters. So multiplied by 1000 gives us 13.3 recurring meters. We also need to work out the distance after braking. 
So we've got our formula from before, D equals 0.017 V to the power of 2.08. We know that the velocity is 60, so we substitute that in. Put that into the calculator, we get 84.9187 meters. Adding that together with our previous answer means it takes him a total of 98.25 meters to stop. Now the really important bit here is we need to say whether he will or won't stop before reaching the puddle. Well, that is less than 100 meters. So we need to put down, yes, he stops in time. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.